run for lemonade. We're going to win again, and we're going to win big. We're way ahead in the primary, and we're way ahead in the general. Trump's absence from the Fox News debate makes it a race for second place and really takes the wind out of the debate. I think it makes it much less interesting. And so I think we can end that even in the Republican Party. What's your name, man? Thank you for your service. Not on my watch. Not on my watch. That won't work. The debate will give GOP candidates a chance to talk about what they stand for without Trump interrupting them constantly and to show they, they get to show off a little bit. But I I do think it 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 does feel like it's a um, sort of a, an Olympic trials without the gold medal winner that everybody thought was going to sweep sweep everything away. I think this gives DeSantis a chance to show voters straight up who he is without having all the bad news focused around him of campaign, uh, you know, campaign flubs or mistakes that are going on constantly. All right. That may give him a chance to try to repair some of the damage that has been done, um, you know, to his campaign. Can he do it? It's anyone's guess. And I'd put us up against anyone in the modern history of the Republican Party. Nice to meet you, too. So my friend Donald Trump is arriving and he and I share something in common. Neither of us do pretty well in a number two position, okay? He, they're going to be dragged into talking about Trump by Fox News. No doubt. They're going to have to answer the question that the front runner isn't on stage. What do you make of that? And they may deflect it, which would probably be the smart idea to do if you're not trying to tick off mega voters that are watching you um but they are going to be called on the carpet to ask what their opinion is and we're going to see who does the best job of uh, uh bobbing and weaving through that so what's going to be interesting is to see how many viewers actually tune in that will give us a great gauge to see how many people are looking for something new? How many GOP voters of Trump's base are getting tired of all of this nonsense and want a serious candidate who's talking about the issues? We'll have to see what the temperature level is there. The stage is finally set for the first Republican presidential debate of the 2024 campaign cycle. The Republican National Committee said this week that a total of eight candidates had met its qualifications in order to participate in the debate on Wednesday night in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. They are Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley, South Carolina Senator Tim Scott, former Vice President Mike Pence, Biotech entrepreneur Vivek Ramaswamy, former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie, North Dakota Governor Doug Burgum, and former Arkansas Governor Asa Hutchinson.
The RNC earlier this year set out a whole bunch of different metrics that candidates needed to meet in order to be able to participate in the debate. There is one candidate who will be noticeably absent from the debate on Wednesday night in Milwaukee. That's former President Donald Trump, who's been the early front runner in the broad GOP field, but has said for several months that he figured he might not participate in debates because of his lead in polling, as well as having a high national name ID since he's already served as president. Over the weekend, Trump made his decision official saying on social media that he wouldn't participate in the debate and might not participate in other debates scheduled later in the cycle. Trump has also indicated that he's unlikely to sign a pledge committing to support anyone but himself as the nominee for 2024. There's also a handful of candidates who said that they had met the RNC's qualifications, but the party disagreed. Those are Michigan businessman Perry Johnson, Miami Mayor Francis Suarez, and conservative radio host Larry Elder. There's already a second Republican candidate debate on the calendar. That will be on September 27th at the Reagan Presidential Library in Simi Valley, California.